10% down payment, 3 to 5% for closing costs, which the seller may pay. And then, which, you know, that's money that you keep in your pocket. And then the rest of that money to make the property rent ready. So hopefully that helps kind of lay out the, uh, the cash that you're going to need for going out and uh, doing things. You just don't want to be in a position where you're strapped for cash, where you feel like, gosh, things are really tight. I don't have what I need uh, to be able to uh, make this property really what I want it to be so it'll perform in a level that I want it to perform. Welcome to the SCR Home Financing Podcast, where we believe a legacy is something you build, not just something you leave behind. And now, here's your host, Jeff Chisholm. Hey, this is Jeff Chisholm with STR Home Financing. Thank you for joining me for episode nine. Today, I'm going to talk about how much cash do I really need to go out and buy one of these vacation homes that I want to utilize as a short-term rental. So my typical number is 20% of the purchase price. So not all that is going to go in fulfilling the requirements of the loan. So let me give you the breakdown. So when we're considering using the 10% down second home occupancy loan, uh, it's obvious 10% is going to go towards uh, the down payment. And then on average, you can budget 3 to 5% for closing costs. In today's market, where uh, things have slowed down, we're seeing listings on uh, the market longer than usual, we can start to ask for some things. So on the 10% down second home occupancy loan, you can ask for up to 6% in seller concessions. So it may be a consideration that you don't go into an offer automatically thinking that you're going to offer below list price. Uh, you may consider asking for those seller concessions. Now, you don't necessarily need up to 6%. Uh, may leave you some room to buy down the interest rate if you wanted to. So you can use that money towards um, the 3 to 5% in closing cost and then use the rest of it for buying down the interest rate. So maybe a lot more of an advantage there than asking for a reduction in $10,000, $15,000 off of the sales price uh, because that's going to keep you mo with more cash in your pocket and potentially with a lower interest rate. So the rest of the money uh, is budgeted for making that property rent ready. What does rent ready mean? Making it special, doing things to it uh, that are going to help the property stand out in a crowd and uh, help you reach that level of expectation for the property to perform. So 10% down payment, 3 to 5% for closing costs, which the seller may pay. And then, which, you know, that's money that you keep in your pocket. And then the rest of that money to make the property rent ready. So hopefully that helps kind of lay out the, uh, the cash that you're going to need for going out and uh, doing things. You just don't want to be in a position where you're strapped for cash, where you feel like, gosh, things are really tight. I don't have what I need uh, to be able to... Uh, make this property really what I want it to be so it'll perform in a level that I want it to perform. So, you know, go back to episode eight where I talk about, you know, how do we fund these deals? How do we fund that down payment closing costs and making the property rent ready with the uh, HELOC strategy? Um, so, you know, if you haven't listened to that episode, you don't have to skip cups of coffee, rounds of golf to make this happen. So hopefully that helps. I'm always happy to jump on a phone call and talk about your dreams, your specific questions. So you can go to my website, strhomefinancing.com. There's a chat feature there, or I encourage you to watch the introduction video where I talk about my family's experience. And then there's a few questions that you can answer that provides me uh, just a general idea of what you're looking to do, where you're looking to do it, and what you're looking to do it with. Uh, and then there are four videos that you can watch that talk about the basics of the loan product, uh, the 10% down loan, the DSCR loan, and then also talk about the process of being pre-approved, when you should be pre-approved, and then the value that my 
team brings to the table during that acquisition phase. So check that out and then you can schedule a call or if you're ready to go, jump into an application and you know let's get the pieces of the puzzle put together so we can educate you on what you are approved for and uh, empower you to be in a position to go take action. Uh, take care and until next time. Jeff Chisholm is a registered mortgage loan officer, NMLS 673623 for North Point Bank, NMLS 447490. North Point Bank is an equal housing lender. All programs and products discussed on the show are subject to change without notice.